Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olichi. I'm a Nigerian based in Istanbul, Turkey. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi. <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you, I already did like a first part of this video talking about importation from Turkey, how you can find these vendors. So yeah, if this is something you're interested, keep watching. You can also share it to your friends and yeah, let's get into the video. So to find vendor yourself, if you don't want to use an agent, myself, what I do is that I search for them on Instagram. The thing with searching on Instagram is that you have to use keywords. Like for instance, I want to buy a dress. I'll just say wholesale dresses. That is what I'll search for on Instagram. And when I search for wholesale dresses, they are going to show me all the Instagram accounts that sell wholesale dresses. Well, have in mind your search on Instagram is mostly based on your location. So if I'm in Turkey, I'll, it will be easier for me to find wholesale dresses here in Turkey because I'm in Turkey. If you're in Nigeria, you find wholesale dresses, but the first, first options they will show you are the people that are in Nigeria. So for myself, if you want to filter out all the ones that you do need, you want to target the main Turkish wholesalers, I highly suggest that you translate, you go to your translating app and translate from English to Turkish. So maybe now I want to buy accessories for in wholesale. So I'll go to Google Translate and type in accessories wholesale. And accessories wholesale will be accessories top down. So when I get the Turkish translated word, I copy and paste it into my search on Instagram. So when I search for accessories top down, it's going to show me the Turkish accounts, the Turkish Instagram accounts. So that's the best way to filter it if you are not going to use like VPN and whatnot. That's the best way to filter it. Turkish people like their language so much that it even appears on their Instagram accounts. So even if some of them are going to put like wholesale on their bio, but you can still find them. The faster way to find them is when you use their language. Let's say I want to buy makeup. Makeup is makash. Makash. Makash, I think so. Instead of just putting wholesale makeup, I'll put makash top tan or top tan makash. So when I search for that, I'm going to get like a lot of options. So let's try doing it now. So you see, so when I go to my Instagram and I search for top tan makash, so you can see immediately I search for um, top tan makash, I get a lot of options like this. A lot of options for makeup for wholesale makeup so the best way for you to search for them on Instagram is to use Turkish language so anything you want to sell just translate it make sure you translate it and search for them you will find them so when you find them on Instagram then most times they put their contact details there like their WhatsApp or telegram or you can send them a DM I don't really like sending them a DM on Instagram because most of them don't check except for the really active accounts which they take a longer period to answer their instagram if not the best option would be to send them a message on whatsapp if you send them a message on whatsapp 80 percent of the time you are going to respond to you faster because you're asking them for the price so if you send them a message on, on whatsapp make sure you also send the message in turkish most of them already know what how much means in english but to be on the safe side ask them fiat or some fiat fiat is how much some fiat is last price. So you can just ask them, how much is this in Turkish? And most times they will respond. So if you can message them on WhatsApp, message them. If you don't want to message them immediately, I want to like know the price. The ones that put their Telegram are the ones that I like a lot because it just takes you to their Telegram account. Telegram is like BBM. So on Telegram, they open like a group chat where they post their pictures and the prices most times. So I'm just post the pictures and they don't put the price. You have to like ask them. On Telegram, you can see their catalog. So you know everything they are selling there and just check the price before you message them. So most times it's true that Instagram thing that I find them. Then if you are here in Turkey, you can ask the seller for their location and they send you the location. Then you just go to their store and also like check them out to be sure that you like their quality. That's how I mostly find my vendors. But this might not be of 
essential use to you the only usefulness is that you know the exact price so even if you are using an agent your agents cannot run you streets your agents cannot cheat you because you already know how much it is so you will just be paying your agents to go and pick it up for you you are not you will not have the fear that oh your agent is adding price to it so if you found like how much it is you can just take a screenshot and send it to your agent and tell your agent that oh you need them to pick this up for you most times your agent already knows like if he's an ex if he he or she is an experienced um seller your agent already knows where to get it from if they don't know where to get it from you can tell them that okay this is the seller so they can go and pick it up for you but you are still going to pay them to go and pick it up for you that is the only disadvantage you might be doing the work but you still have to pay them the only thing that this um, finding your vendor does is to prevent them from adding extra price on what you purchase if not you still have to pay the seller to go and pick up your stuff for you and pack it so pick disclaimer before you think or oh, if i once i find the the vendor i don't need to pay an agent but that's a lie you still have to pay the agent but have in mind that even if you find these vendors and sometimes you might find the really cheap ones some might even be scam because right now the exporting business is really popping africans are really buying from um the turkish market so you might find scams like some people that just post and they try to steal from you so make sure one tip that i always check for is how ramp how efficient the channel like the, the telegram channel is when i'm checking on telegram i check how efficient it is like um how how many times do they post in a day how recent they post in a day how many people are in that group chat stuff like that have in mind that even if you might see maybe like 50 people in the group chat it doesn't mean that they are a scam sometimes their previous group chats maybe got filled up or got deleted or they can't remember the password stuff like that so maybe they created a new one but yeah those are like things that i look out for and sometimes prices are too real to believe like don't tell me that you are finding a top like this for like two dollars or did it possible you're gonna get rag like quality is gonna be horrible so don't even if even if you think your agent might be rigging you or even if you think agents will rig you or cheat you also be cautious of the price it might be too cheap to believe so be cautious of the price don't just try to buy stuff from them because they are cheap and yeah that is my advice for that so i'll suggest that you open an instagram account just to save it like just to make an online directory so you don't have to like be looking for the app cards like you can also search for them on google so but make sure it's in turkish don't just go and type turkish wholesalers we'll show you a lot of things I, it was very difficult when i wanted to start this thing it was very difficult for me to find a new reasonable seller i was seeing some sites but i don't even know whether they are active because they haven't uploaded anything on their site for a very long while but when you're searching make sure you search in turkish language okay and yeah when you search on google search you can find them another option is to check on youtube there are some youtubers that post vendor list and even though some will ask you for price some post them for free you can just check on youtube youtube is like a best option some of the places that i've been to or some of the markets some of the stores that i've been to i've also known about them through youtube so you can check on youtube i also saw on youtube of a site called yolando i don't know how it works i checked their website but <laughs> bangani i don't understand i don't understand anything that is there so yeah i stick to the african one that they, they run everything for me yeah you can also check that out <laughs> don't come and find me please because i don't know if it's safe so anyway guys so that's the end of this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you like share send it to your friends they might be thinking of starting a business but they don't know where to start from so you can send it to your friends to check this out so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys